My name is Kain on the Tech Pro and recently I started building or uh, creating some reports uh, to test my database performance. As you can see, there are beautiful reports that you can generate to show the performance of your database. And this is really amazing, but not just that it is amazing, it is also something really interesting. You can see that I have three databases I'm testing. Yeah, I have, I have um, uh, PostgreSQL, I have uh, MSSQL, and we also have MySQL and these are the really good tests I've been doing and they are really nice. So I'm going to show you how to do this uh, test and also how to generate this uh, reports very, very, very easily. So um, so this is JMeter, it's open. I'm going to close it because I want us to start from a clean slate. So the first thing I would like us to do, in case you are new to JMeter, JMeter is simply uh, a tool that you use to test the performance of your databases, your applications and your your websites or web applications and things like that. So if you just go to JMeter downloads, downloads, you can get to the download page and you can download JMeter for free because JMeter is free. So just go to download releases at this point and then go to, if you are using Windows, no matter what system you are using, for me I'm using Windows, so download Apache JMeter 5.1.1.0 uh, .1 and just unzip it. Actually, this JMeter downloads uh, and doesn't need to be installed, just unzip it as a folder. For me, I'm going to just show you where I have it on my system. You, I have it here, Apache JMeter 5.1.1. So if I open it by double clicking and go to the bin folder, I'll have Apache JMeter. So what I did was to right click and just send it to, the, to, the, to my desktop as a shortcut. So once on my desktop, I can just open it from my desktop by double clicking at this point. Let me double click to open it. So once you have JMeter installed, uh, once you have JMeter downloaded and unzipped into a directory in your system, uh, you need to have something called a connector. A connector helps you to connect JMeter to your database or your application. In case we are connecting to a database, because at this point I want to test Microsoft SQL Server. So I need Microsoft SQL uh, Server JDBC connector. So that is also free. So to download it, simply say JDB, uh, uh, MSSQL JDBC driver. So MSSQL JDBC driver is what you need to be able to connect to to MySQL, to MSSQL database. After now, we are going to be talking about MySQL. So at this point, you can get JD, uh, download JDBC driver. I'd like to remind you to subscribe to my channel. If you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any updates. Remember, I share the knowledge. I try to help you get up to speed with anything you are having issues with or even to learn new things. So just hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment and also like and share this video if it's been informative for you. So the Microsoft JDBC driver for SQL Server, you can have the latest version here. So just download it by clicking on it, it goes to the download page. I already downloaded it. And again, when you download it, it comes as a zip file, right? Unzip it and place it somewhere in your system. Me, I downloaded it and I placed it in my drive C and you can see it right here, SQL JDBC 7.4.1. If I open it, it's, you have these subfolders here. So just have it in mind, you need to have this specified somewhere. All right, so after then, we need to now come to uh, Microsoft SQL Server, we need to de uh, determine what database we want to test. And also we need a login detail that JMeter is going to use to connect to the database. So normally I use Management Studio to manage my SQL Server. So I'm going to open Management Studio. Let me show you how you can create a user login because normally I log into my database with Windows Authentication. So what you have here is Windows Authentication. So I can just say uh, connect and it connects and that is fine. So what we are going to do is to go to security and go to logins and just create a new login by saying new login, give it a name, choose SQL Server Authentication, specify a password, and then you specify the database you want it to connect to and say okay. 
Me, I already did it and I have it as kind zone research right here, kind zone research. So if I actually log out from my database, I can actually log in this time not with Windows but with uh, this time not with Windows but with um, with SQL Server authentication by specifying kind zone research and I specify the log the the password. Uh, to the to, to to for this login and I say connect and it connects perfectly. All right, so the database I would like also connect to or to test is is a research DB. Uh, research DB I think it has two tables, students and telescope data. All right, so the next thing we want to do is to go to JMeta and create something called a, a trade or a trade group. Yeah, trade group. So specify the number of users, number of times it's gonna look. So simply simulating several users connecting to the database 10 times. And yes, so this is a thread group. Just specify the number of users and how many times you want them to look to connect. So the next thing we want to do is to specify something called a config element. So config element at this point, you go to new, uh, sorry, add and choose config element. Now, since we are testing a database, we are going to choose JDBC connection configuration. And what you need to do here is to give it a name, variable name for created pool. I'm going to call it MSSQL underscore pool. And maximum number of connections. Let me say, uh, let me say 100 is okay. Right, so this is the configuration. And if I go down this page, um, Yes, so it's going to ask me certain things about the database that we want to connect to, okay? So, the database URL, uh, yes, so this is where you need to pay attention. I'm going to type it out. You're also going to look at the description box. You'll see where I, I specify the format of this of this uh, database URL. So, it's going to be like this, JDBC colon SQL server, SQL server, and then colon double backslash and specify the name of the database sorry the name of the database server and in case of my system the name of the database server when you click on connect here it gives you the, the server name so just right click and copy it and paste it right there all right and say backslash and then specify the name of the database so i'll call it database name is equal to and the name of the database, as you can see here, is ResearchDB. So I'm going to call it ResearchDB. All right, that is one. And then the driver class. Uh, normally, you can see it in the drop down, but if not, you can actually type it out. So it's going to become dot Microsoft dot SQL Server dot JDBC dot SQL Server driver. So let's see if we find it here in the drop down. So I have com dot Microsoft dot SQL Server dot JDBC dot dot uh, SQL Server driver. So notice that this one is wrong. So as uh, uh, SQL Server comes before JDBC, so select it, and then my username, as I mentioned, so it's gonna be research DB, and the password uh, I specify. All right, so this is the, con uh, the the connection configuration. So I'm actually going to save everything at this point. So actually, I'm going to click on the name of the test and say save. So let's call it test plan three, save. All right, so the next thing we are going to do is to add something called, right click on the trade group and add something called a sampler. So sampler simply means what kind of request we want to make. We want to make a JDBC request. So select JDBC request and we need to specify the name of the pool remember if you go to uh, config element we specified uh, the name of the of the pool at this point so i'm going to just copy it with ctrl c and if i go to jdbc request you need to specify the variable name for the pool which is mssql pool and i want to do a select statement so here you are going to specify the select statement so i'm going to just select star from the name of the table in the database is telescope, telescope, telescope underscore data. I can put a semicolon at the end. 
All right, so um, at this point, just leave all the test fields, leave them blank, all right? So having done this, the next thing we want to do is to add something called a listener. A listener is simply the output you want to see, the kind of output you want. So I'm going to say view result tree, okay? That is fine. And I'm going to add another listener. After I'm going to tell you more about listeners, but now let's just do the test completely and see that it works. I'm also going to go to view result in table, all right? So at this point, I've finished the configuration. I've set up everything. I can just save by clicking on save. Now to run this test, I'm just going to click on the test plan and just click on the green button here that says start. So once you click on start, uh, I think we had we have some errors. So let's go to view result tree. So we have some errors. So it says cannot load uh, JDBC driver com microsoft.sql server okay so now the problem is coming from meanwhile let's play everything by clicking on this place play all okay so in your configuration or is in the configuration no in the test plan yes we need to specify the jar file that represents the driver the the, the mssql connector that we downloaded did i mention it let me see i think i did mention it yes so this connector we downloaded, we need to specify the, the path to that connector file. So I'm going to click on Browse, and I saved it in my drive D, and I saved it into SQL uh, JDBC inside here. And let's see. Okay, so. We are going to be using MSSQL JDBC 7.1 GRE8. At this point, uh, 8 is okay. Don't use the shaded, don't use 11, or unless your Java version is 11. But let me just select 8. I'm going to quickly check my Java version by going to Command Prompt. I'm going to Command Prompt. I'm going to say um, Java underscore version. And you can see it tells me build 1.8.0 simply it means Java 8. Alright, so having specified the location of the Java file, I'm going to just click on save again. And I'm going to place my mouse here so that I'll see the result tree as it's running. So I'm going to click on run at this point. So let's see. So it, I hope it starts going to start running so let's see result tree um, we are hoping to see some outputs at this point okay so we have one coming and it tells us cannot create portable names a failed error receive timeout verify the server instance instance firewall da, 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 da. okay so um So actually, there is an error coming from the database URL. So if you if you go to the if you look at the server name that ends in SQL there, uh, you see a slash. So after the server name, it's not going to be a slash. It's going to be a semicolon at that point. All right. So it's going to be a semicolon. I'm going to save everything. I'm going to drop down here. So I want to see the result tree. So I'm going to click on Run at this point. So I've clicked on run and let's see what result we have. So it tells us cannot create. So login failed for user. So let's see where the problem is coming from. So let me go back to this connection. Oh, so username is actually kind some research. So username is kind to research. It's not research DB. Alright. So I'm going to play everything, all the all the error messages, and then let's now run again to see. Alright, so you can see the request is coming in. Everything is fine. So you see the request is coming. And also, you can actually look at the response data. Actually, you have the select statement returning data right here. So this is how to make, uh, to test uh, connection to performance of uh, MSSQL server. And I'd like to say that in the next class, we are now going to see how we can generate our reports on, on, on a visual report on HTML page 
about um, the performance of the database. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed to my channel and feel free to leave me a comment if this video has been informative for you.